What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and today we have a um, ranked match video. So we're playing Nick Dean 16. He is a former very high ranked player, and he actually is very high ranked right now. He seems to just hop back into scrolls every every like month or two, and just like soars back to the top of the rankings. He's very good. Like before the ranking reset, I think he was like. I think he was n number four, I believe. Not totally sure. Uh, he's playing growth, probably aggro. I'm playing aggro order. Um, Eternal Sword, Dougal Skirmisher. I can play both the Crossman and the Asian at this turn, so I think I want to do that. Eternal Sword is amazing versus growth, especially. So is Dougal Skirmisher, but he's at four cost. We're not going to get to him just yet. So may as well just fill up our board with more stuff, you know? Okay, so at least we got stuff on the board, and, um, uh, what was I just saying? I was gonna say, so, th this video is being uploaded, uh, later than, um, I'm recording it, but for this week, I actually got one of the weekly winners things. Not top three in the ladder, but I got the one that says, uh, most ranked wins of the week, and Sarnal Sword is awesome. So I almost want to use that instead of the Ducal Infantryman. You know, we're just going to go for more board advantage. We'll sack the Eternal Sword. And two focuses. Interesting. Um, we're not going to engage him. I'll go up here. And I'm not going to take the risk of, like... I'm not going to go for the extra one damage with the, uh... With the Ducal Infantryman. I'll put him in this row because I want to protect the guy that's attacking next. In case he's like a double ragged or something. Or ragged champion or if he wants. Stuff like that. That kind of stuff is all over the place. And I would like to get a wing shield or a royal skirmisher. Just I want to start getting to some stronger creatures. But by round three, I do have four creatures on the board. That's not something you could say every match. And definitely aggro versus aggro, that's very awesome. But one thing that I've noticed is really hard to deal with as uh, aggro order against aggro growth is oak bloods. Because as you know, uh, oak bloods are really common now because um, they work so well with wildling and the new magic armor is really good. And uh, yeah. So I've had a lot of trouble dealing with that. And we get a wing shield. Now, I think we're going to engage. So, go ahead and I want the one extra damage in case I like, can kill it with the decimation. Well, first of all, you have to sac. Do it, I have to sac focus early. Focuses are really good. Um, move you down. Put the wing shield down. And I also have to watch out for Rumbles. Rumbles do a whole lot. I could move down a little bit more, but I'm not going to. If he wants to run away, be my guest. I'll have fun pinging these idols up here. So let's see. Focus is not that useful right now. We have no Relentless on the board, and I want to change that very soon. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about any quakes about getting too much board advantage. We're just going to keep piling it on. And is he going to... He looks like he's just going to kill the infantryman there. Hopefully he's not able to... Yeah, he's just going to... I didn't want him to destroy my wing shield just like that. Okay. And does he have anything to put in front? Even then, it would probably just die. Yeah, okay. So, ooh, it would be really awesome right now if I get decimation. A busting pace actually works also. So I'll sack the focus... And I'll play. Too bad I have to uh, not play the skirmisher this turn, but I can't pass up this opportunity to clear his board. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go for that. I have to. Okay. So let's see. 
Now I want to get the realms on the board. We're not out of the woods yet because, yeah, he can fill the door with rack kings, but I don't have to worry about, like, god hands and stuff. But I do want to get that relentless dude on the board. And Eternal Sword is good to play with him with. I'm going to sack the flipper card so I'm not, like, stuck against next turn uh, having to choose between an Eternal Sword and something else good to sacrifice. So I'll sack that for cards, and we have a very good hand right now. Very good hand. I don't mind moving up now. Keep my good guys behind the uh, wing shields. And I like a position, but one oak blood and us not getting the greatest draws will be pretty hard to deal with. I wanna get I wanna get the eternal sword out. I think I put it on the wing shield, believe it or not. I know you want the extra attack on the um, on the relentless unit. But with the extra armor for the wing shield, it's going to be even harder to break through. And even if then he's able to kill the wing shield, it just latches on to possibly whatever's behind it, which would be well, hopefully a skirmisher. So if he doesn't play any threats, I'll play the skirmisher. If he plays threats like that, I mean, maybe I should roasted bean potion. Well, I don't have enough resources to do like a roasted bean. Roasted bean potion focus. Um, what would that even do? That's six up there, and that whole row is eight. So I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we'll just go ahead and do the safe play, which is playing this the ducal skirmisher. I've definitely drawn like a lot of focuses already. I don't want to. Uh, this is my the third focus, I think. So I don't want to sacrifice it. And I do have like other blessing of haste and rose of motions in the deck, so. I'll, Go ahead and sack the Rosa Bean Potion. I do have things attacking. I'm going to move up, take down one rat. Move here, move here. I am afraid of like a Rumble, but he can't even pair it with like a Crimson Bull or anything. He doesn't have enough resources. So it's looking good. And I'll protect you from a veteran with uh, this uh, this dude. I don't like using him as a blocker, though, because he's just awesome. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And doing more idle damage just a bit with those Asian Knights. Look at that, four countdown. That shows you the Agent Knight did its job. Got four attack, got three attacks off. Hmm. So we have an Eternal Sword and a Focus, and we have three of these guys attacking, and the Eternal Sword of Focus obviously would be best used on this Skirmisher if I need to attack, but I might not need to use like everything. Let's see. Like I said, I wanted to get an Eternal Sword on the Wing Shield in the front. So this would be a big win for me, if I can win this game. I can't get ahead of myself, because Nick Dean is um, very high on the ladder. Uh, a lot of, I'm going to try writing for me right now. So how many health you? Eight health in that row, and... Okay, so I think I'll just... I don't have to use a focus. I'll sack the Wings Captain here. Wings Captain isn't as good anymore with the three attack. I think it's still good enough to keep in the deck because of the speed of the extra movement. Um, so I wanted to be able to destroy you, so I'll go ahead and give you the Eternals. I could go with the Focus and then have a be able to play another Skirmisher. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Save my Eternal Sword for something that I actually that would need it like in a pinch, and I'll be able to play uh, the Royal Skirmisher this turn. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to... I want to protect you. Yeah. Protection there, and then go like that. Okay, looking good. It's looking good. So, uh, speak my rating. My rating is very low. Very, very, very low. I believe I'm about, like, just about exactly 1,800 right now. I was 1950, like, uh, just, uh, probably, like, four days ago. So, that's just me playing not too well. I may be getting unlucky, I don't know. I've been playing about, like, 500 Scrolls games. Not, no, I meant, like, not, haven't played 500 games. I mean, I'm, like, uh, I have a, I've been having, like, probably about a 50% winning percentage the past, um, past few days, which is not good enough when you're kind of near the and you're near the top of the rankings because then you're losing more when rating than you gain when you win. So that's why I've lost like so much rating. Um, 
I've been playing like everything. Mono Decay, Aggro Growth, Aggro Order, Mono Energy Structures, and like I try to counter deck, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does work, I've been winning and losing. So hopefully I can gain some stability in the coming days. But I'm not alarmed by my rating fall because this happens to me like once a month. <laughs> I drop like a hundred something rating or, or more. But I, I, I'm usually able to I'm always able to come back up. Okay, and through all that losing, we were still able to get one of the weekly winner's badges. So that's pretty cool. And he's taking out our four countdown aging knight. Be my guest. Or our three countdown aging knight, okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Royal Vanguard would really put this game like, like we could win this game. We do have three lotless dudes on the field. So I think I'm gonna go for the Vanguard, not the Skirmisher. I think it's not like we have to like fish for cars and like try to top deck something to destroy stuff in this board because he's not too, too much of a threat right now. So I am going to sacrifice the Ducal Skirmisher for the Vanguard. I want to keep that Eternal Sword because we already have three Relentless dudes out. I'll move this down. And I can't get you in front, sadly. So you can stay down there, sacrifice you. And I'm, I'm going to put the Vanguard in the middle. As valuable as the Ducal Skirmisher, it does have 4 health, so it's a little bit beefy, so I don't, I'm don't. i not too scared of putting him in the front. And uh, I'd rather keep that Vanguard right in the middle of things. Hmm. Okay. So he is sacrificing for scrolls. And <laughs> there's not much he could do to come back in this game because I he doesn't run quakes. I'm pretty sure. I faced him a few times the past like couple days. He seems to be playing this aggro growth like a lot of the people with oak bloods and wildlings, which are a pain to deal with. Luckily, I haven't had to deal with an oak blood yet. This this uh current match and he might be gearing up for one very soon so hopefully I can get like a flip to just dispose of that wildling right now before he can upload it uh blessing of haste is pretty good blessing of haste uh you know I guess I have blessing of haste I'd rather have that eternal sword and we uh, don't get a flip so we'll go ahead and um, all right, I'm gonna take him down. Yeah, I could go up and probably win the game, just like destroying idols up there. But I think we're safe doing this. Moving down here. And now I'm gonna put Eternal Sword on this guy. And I'll get a Winged Soldier up right here. So, if you don't know what Eternal Sword does, you'd probably be wondering why I would enchant like like the guy in front, he's probably gonna be the most likely to die. Because it will, the Eternal Sword will just uh, uh, latch onto an adjacent unit, which hopefully would be the Skirmisher. And hopefully I get like a Blessing Face or something. But we'll see. We probably don't even need Blessing Ice because we have lots of guys attacking. I don't love that play moving down like that. But I, just in case, like, I want to get rid of this thing before he gets an Oak Blood. Or, yeah, I kind of regret doing that. Because now I'm giving him, like, a, a chance to get back in the game. If I just stayed up there, I don't think he would have a chance because it just destroys the idols fast enough. Um... Looks like that guy's gonna die. He just needs to play a creature next to it, and he's dead. Oh well. But at least he can't uh, elk blood this turn, so I should still be able to hopefully kill most of his threats. I only have a crossman in hand, but that's good sack fodder. And okay, so he's he is able to destroy that dude. Oh well. And it does go on the skirmisher. Lucky us. 
and a flip I'm going to um, keep and I'm gonna hope I got like blessing face and I do not if I drew a blessing face it'd be so good to like play on you and like clear him well actually I can I can no I can't ah so close I was going to say I could um, without even using a flip I could just move my guys down and destroy all three of these creatures but this is four health and it's only three attack but I am gonna just use a flip so I'll move down yeah yeah uh move down kill you go like that that's I'll just flip you away away from me <laughs> and put that right there and we have two big relentless dudes attacking next turn with two wing shields and it's time for him to surrender he has no chance now so that was a big win for us um yeah see i'm exalted color that means i'm in the 1700s but now i'm in the 1800s so time to get back to where we hope to be uh yeah we knocked him down a little bit um yeah, so this is the badge. Very cool. So I think we, to get this, we got like 50 ranked wins last week because remember like uh, my last ranked match video I think was called 1,000 ranked wins. I had like 1,000 ranked wins, not 1,063. So that's a, to put in perspective, that's about how many wins you'll need in the week to get that badge. And that's a lot, especially considering I did not play well this week. I lost a lot of games. That means I was playing a lot of games. So this I, I've seen much, more, not much more, a couple more spectators than usual because now my name just like hops up right here with this badge. And it's really cool. So these three are the top thin ladder. I'm the guy with the most ranked wins in the past week. Like if I talk, hello general one. Like it sh I could, you could, my name stands out, so I could say what I want to say. And everybody knows me. So. There's that. So I thank you all for watching. Hope you're all enjoying uh, Nerf vs. Blinky Deck Wars. It's a ton of fun. <laughs> Vulcan, and I played him a couple times the other day. So I uh, will continue the daily videos. I actually had two videos like uh, on this last Sunday. So hey, we sparked a conversation general one. Hooray. So um, that was actually a mistake. Um, Videos every day, subscribe if you want this kind of content, like the video if you enjoyed, and keep on scrolling. I will see you in the next video.